Hello everybody and welcome back to research methodology lesson 6 types of research. Research can be classified into many types but uh, before moving to the types of research we have to know about the criteria or the uh, parameters to divide the research. So uh, classification of research types depends on the specific research question, the availability of resources or the data, and the goal of the research. In general, there is no single parameters to classify research types. Let us see three parameters or uh, three viewpoints of uh, uh, parameters, or we can say the viewpoints of uh, research to classify research. The first one is application, second objectives and inquiry mode is the third. According to the applications, research can be divided into pure research, fundamental or basic, and applied research. According to the objectives, research can be divided into four, that is descriptive, exploratory, correlational, explanatory. And lastly, according to the inquiry mood, research can be divided into two, that is quantitative and qualitative research. Now let us discuss the details of each type. Based on the application, as we said, uh, basic research and applied research are the two types. In the case of basic research, our objective is to expand the knowledge or to have an understanding about the subject matter. In this case, we develop a theory, a theory, framework, or principles. On the other hand, in the case of applied research, our objective is to find out a solution for a specific business problem. In this case, we are going to test the hypothesis, which is developed previously. By the way, the theories or the framework which is developed in the basic research can be used as a framework or as a guideline in the case of applied research. Most of the time, basic research is conducted by the academician or the scientist or by the academic institutes because they are pure sciences. Whereas in the applied uh, research, it is majorly conducted by the practitioners in the organization to find out a solution for a specific business problems. The basic research is driven by a curiosity or the desire to understand uh, about the subject matter or to know something which is uh, new. Uh, on the other hand, the uh, driving force for the applied research is to find out a solution for the practical uh, problem or to improve the efficiency, to improve the performance. So uh, keeping this nature of the basic research, the uh, schedule uh, is uh, flexible, flex flexible time scale because uh, there is no specific research uh, problem that is going to be solved by this basic research. Rather, it is used to expand the knowledge or to get understanding about the subject matter. On the other hand, the uh, applied research has a tight time scale because it has an objective of finding a solution for the problem. So we have to have a tight time scale to solve that specific problem using the finding of the research. So actually, the following are the examples. Uh, let us try some of them and I will leave the remaining for you. So does the employee tenure with a company influence the productivity? For example, uh, this uh, type of research, as you see, is uh, dealing about some specific problem, which is uh, the productivity issue. So it is for sure it is an applied uh, type of research. And the next is analyzing what type of properties will inspire uh, people to volunteer their time to charities. As you see, this also uh, a type of research which is used to apply uh, to apply uh, to apply the finding of the research for the volunteers. So it is, by the way, a type of applied research because it. Uh, just mention uh, 
to inspire the people to volunteer their times to the charity. So uh, there is a hidden problem here that the the peoples are less volunteer uh, to contribute to the charities. So it is an applied research. Uh, so uh, let me leave uh, the last one uh, for you uh, to decide either it is basic research or applied research. And on the other side, uh, why people resist change here, it's obvious that there is no particular problem to be solved with this research topic. So it's obvious that this is a basic research, an example of basic research. And the other is examining the uh, properties of uh, different materials at atomic levels. So obviously here there is no uh, specific problem to be solved. So it adds neology or it uh, expands, widen our uh, knowledge or understanding about the atomic levels, the properties of different materials at, at, at the atomic level. So uh, this will be obviously it is a basic research or we can say pure research or we can say it is fundamental research. And the last one is studying the properties of black holes in the universe. So uh, uh, let me leave this uh, for you to decide either it is basic research or applied research. Moving to uh, the uh, research uh, divisions based on the objectives. Uh, based on the objectives, uh, research can be categorized into exploratory, descriptive, and explanatory. Actually, explanatory research and correlational research are uh, somewhat related. That's why I just leave uh, correlational research. Exploratory research type is used in the case when there is when there is untouched or when there is new thing which is to be discovered for the first time. So in that case, we use exploratory research type just to discover or identify and formulate. In this case, we formulate the hypothesis or we formulate just a, a proposition which is to be tested in the latter stage. In the case of descriptive research, it is just to describe the state of nature or it may be described the mean, described the uh, frequency or the occurrence. So in this case, we just uh, understand the state of nature. And in the case of explanatory research, in this case, by the way, the, there is a cause and effect relationship between the variables that is we need to have uh, to test the hypothesis or we have to establish a relationship between the variables. So the techniques used in the exploratory research is mostly interviews, focus group discussion and open-ended uh, questions. Whereas in the case of descriptive research, we used structured uh, survey method and in the case of explanatory research type, we used highly structured survey method. Exploratory research type is uh, conducted at the early stage of uh, the research because this type of research is used to investigate the new thing or to find out uh, brand new or untouched uh, concepts. So it is conducted at the early stage of the research. And the next stage is uh, descriptive research. In this case, by the way, there is a little knowledge at least. There is some knowledge, but uh, the knowledge is not adequate. So uh, the latter stage of uh, research is a descriptive research. And the final stage, the final stage of uh, the research is explanatory research. Once we know about the subject matter, so the next stage is to find out the relationship between the variables. The variables. So. Uh, in the case of explanatory, exploratory and descriptive research, deeper understanding of the problem itself instead of answering the why questions or instead of answering the cause and effect, here we just have deeper understanding of the problem itself. Uh, in the case of uh, explanatory research, we answer the question of why, we answer the relationship between the variables, we test the hypothesis. So these are the uh, major uh, difference between these three types of research. So at the initial stage of uh, research, if nothing known about the subject matter, we have to conduct exploratory. If something is known about the 
uh, subject matter so we can conduct descriptive if we want to relate we want to establish a relationship between the variable we can uh, uh, conduct explanatory research type now let us take this example uh, let's take this example what are the critical success factors of a profitability a profitable company obviously uh, this uh, in this topic it indicates that there is nothing known about uh, the success factors the critical success factors so it is exploratory research type and the next example is what are the distinction features of a good leader actually uh, this one is also uh, it looks like uh, there is a lack of neology of uh, the distinguishing features of a good leader so it is obvious uh, that it is exploratory research and the next is investigating how the public census of the influential government of shells differs between the urban and the non-urban areas in this case actually there is a competition uh, there is a competition between or description between the two uh, geographical areas so it describes uh, the maybe the occurrence or the frequency or the volume so uh, it's obvious that it's a descriptive research and is there a correlation between uh, parental support and uh, uh, scholastic achievement so uh, I will uh, it is better to leave this three the last three uh, topics for you to determine either the exploratory research descriptive or explanatory moving to the last uh, division that is based on the inquiry mode uh, we can divide uh, qualitative research and quantitative research so let us take the research aspects uh, to uh, talk about the two uh, difference uh, difference between the two according to the purpose the qualitative research discovers the idea or the new insight the qualitative research uh, is used to find or to discover the new insight or the new ideas for the first time and the quantitative is used to test the hypothesis actually the not only to test the hypothesis uh, it can also sometimes used to describe uh, the uh, in terms of mean in terms of uh, uh, or descriptive statistics we can say according to the approach the first the qualitative research approach is used uh, to observe and interpret in depth whereas the quantitative is measured and test and expressed in terms of the percentage agreement er, and it is the Likert scale is used to uh, measure the degree of agreement here and we test uh, different tests the ANOVA test the uh, regression test and so on and the technique used in the qualitative research is interview focus group discussion open-ended questions uh, to find uh, or to collect the data whereas in the case of quantitative closed-ended questionnaires or structured questionnaires uh, is used As according to the researcher involvement uh, there is highly Sub, there is high subjectivity in the case of qualitative because in the case of interview focus group discussion and open ended question uh, the uh, researcher involvement is high so there is high subjectivity in the case of uh, qualitative research whereas in the case of uh, quantitative there is no involvement of researcher so the uh, data or the information obtained is objective in nature in the case of sample size the qualitative is always this a small size whereas the uh, quantitative can address larger size using the closed ended questionnaires closed ended questionnaires can be uh, sent through uh, the mail or can be distributed uh, uh, with different data collectors so we can address large volume of we can collect large volume of data using quantitative uh, when uh, we consider the analysis uh, thematic content uh, word association uh, can be used in the case of qualitative we just take the content we just find out the terms from the uh, uh, transcribed word uh, transcribed uh, written documents that is the interview and the focus group discussion or the open-ended question should be written down and we have to find out the uh, thematic content the terms from the uh, or we just associate the words 
in general it is difficult to analyze the qualitative research types whereas in the case of quantitative research we uh, can use descriptive uh, analysis or uh, inferential an analysis we just uh, use some softwares so uh, for example a species amos uh, and so on so it is uh, easy relatively it is easy because we can get a support of uh, software spaces amos hml uh, Stata, stata and so on so uh, it is relatively easier than that of the uh, qualitative research in the case of analysis. Uh, now let's summarize uh, what we have discussed now. So a research can be uh, divided into three according to the application objective and inquiry mood. Now let us, uh, in, uh, let us uh, uh, summarize them. So pure research is majorly, by the way, pure research is majorly exploratory research type. In the case of applications, we uh, call it pure research and it can have a common uh, or uh, it is pure research here and in the case of objectives, it's exploratory research and in the case of inquiry mode, it is a qualitative research. So pure research is, pure research is uh, uh, majorly, uh, it is exploratory research and it is uh, qualitative research. Actually, it's not necessarily, uh, but uh, there is high intersection between uh, these three. In the case of applied research, actually, uh, it, it may be descriptive research, correlational or explanatory research. And actually, applied research can be quantitative and it can also be qualitative research. It can uh, be qualitative research. So this is all about the types of research. This is the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening. We will meet with the next lesson. Have a nice time. Bye.